How to spot narcissists on dating apps. Unleash your inner detective and join the hunt for the elusive dating app narcissists. In a world filled with catfishes and fakers, it's time to arm yourself with the tools to spot the red flags and avoid the heartache. Get ready to go undercover and expose the telltale signs of grandiose language, lack of empathy, manipulative behavior, and quick judgment. With your intuition as your guide, you'll be able to navigate the digital dating scene with confidence and avoid falling into the trap of these charming but deceitful individuals. So, put on your detective hat, buckle up, and let's catch some narcissists. Before we get into the details, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to spread awareness about narc abuse, it saves lives. Here are some signs to look for when spotting a narcissist on a dating app. Self-centeredness. Narcissists are very self-centered and often talk only about themselves, their accomplishments, and their interests. Grandiose language. They may use grandiose language and make exaggerated claims about their abilities and achievements. Inability to handle criticism. They tend to be very sensitive to criticism and may react defensively or become angry when confronted. Lack of empathy. They may have difficulty empathizing with others and may dismiss others' feelings or experiences. Manipulative behavior. Narcissists are often skilled at manipulating others and may use flattery, charm, or coercion to get what they want. Quick to judge. They may judge others harshly and make negative comments about people, even on the first meeting. Remember, these are general signs and may not apply to everyone who displays these behaviors. It's important to take time to get to know someone and to listen to your instincts. Self-centeredness in dating apps with examples Self-centeredness in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including talking only about themselves, they may dominate conversations, always steer the topic back to themselves, and show little interest in learning about the other person. Example, I'm a successful businessman, and I love to travel the world. Have you been to any cool places lately? Sharing only selfies and pictures of themselves. They may only post pictures of themselves, rather than pictures with friends or family, or pictures that show their interests and hobbies. Example. A profile filled only with selfies or pictures showing off their appearance and material possessions. Bragging about their accomplishments. They may talk extensively about their accomplishments and successes, and may downplay or dismiss the accomplishments of others. Example. I'm a top-performing salesperson at my company, and I've won multiple awards for my achievements. Seeking validation. They may ask for compliments or approval, and may become upset if they don't receive it. Example. Do you think I'm attractive? These are just a few examples, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone is different, and not everyone who is self-centered is a narcissist. Grandiose language in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including Exaggerated claims. They may make exaggerated claims about their abilities, achievements, wealth, or status. Example. I'm a billionaire entrepreneur and I have multiple businesses all over the world. Using grandiose language. They may use grandiose words or phrases that are intended to impress or flatter. Example. I'm a visionary leader and I'm destined for greatness. Bragging about material possessions. They may talk extensively about their material possessions, such as their car, house, or expensive vacation. Example. I just got a new Ferrari, it's the latest model and it's super fast. Claiming to be an expert. They may claim to be an expert in a particular field, even if they don't have much experience or knowledge. Example. I'm a fitness expert and I can help you get in the best shape of your life. These are just a few examples, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone is different, and not everyone who uses grandiose language is a narcissist. Lack of empathy in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including dismissing others' feelings. They may dismiss or minimize the feelings and experiences of others. Example. Oh, that's not that big of a deal, don't worry about it. Not showing interest in others. They may show little interest in learning about others and may not ask questions or show concern. Example. So, tell me about yourself. Followed by minimal engagement or response to the other person's answers. Being self-absorbed. They may be focused solely on their own experiences and feelings, and may not take others into consideration. Example. I had the worst day ever, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. Without acknowledging or showing interest in the other person's experiences. Being insensitive. 
they may make inappropriate comments or jokes that are hurtful to others. Example, why are you so upset about that? It's not a big deal. These are just a few examples, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone is different, and not everyone who lacks empathy is a narcissist. Manipulative behavior in dating apps with examples. Manipulative behavior in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including flattery. They may use excessive flattery or compliments to try and win someone over. Example, you're so beautiful, I can't stop thinking about you. Coercion. They may try to manipulate someone into doing something they want by using guilt, fear, or other emotions. Example, if you really cared about me, you would do this for me. Playing mind games. They may use mind games or other tactics to try and control or manipulate a situation. Example, I'm not sure if I want to see you again, I need some time to think about it. When the intention is to make the other person feel unsure or anxious. Using false pretenses. They may lie or use false pretenses to get what they want. Example, I'm a successful doctor, and I have a great job and a lot of money. When this is not true. These are just a few examples, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone is different, and not everyone who engages in manipulative behavior is a narcissist. Being quick to judge in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including making snap decisions. They may judge someone based on limited information, such as their profile picture or a few lines of text. Example, I don't like the way she looks, I'm not going to bother talking to her. Being critical. They may make negative comments or judgments about someone's appearance, interests, or personality. Example, he seems boring, I don't think we have much in common. Being dismissive. They may dismiss someone as a potential match without giving them a fair chance. Example, I'm not interested in her, she seems too old for me. Being self-absorbed. They may be focused solely on their own experiences and feelings, and may not take others into consideration. Example, I had the worst day ever, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. Without acknowledging or showing interest in the other person's experiences. Being insensitive. They may make inappropriate comments or jokes that are hurtful to others. Example, why are you so upset about that? It's not a big deal. These are just a few examples, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone is different, and not everyone who lacks empathy is a narcissist. Manipulative behavior in dating apps with examples. Manipulative behavior in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including flattery. They may use excessive flattery or compliments to try and win someone over. Example, you're so beautiful, I can't stop thinking about you. Coercion. They may try to manipulate someone into doing something they want by using guilt, fear, or other emotions. Example, if you really cared about me, you would do this for me. Playing mind games. They may use mind games or other tactics to try and control or manipulate a situation. Example, I'm not sure if I want to see you again, I need some time to think about it. When the intention is to make the other person feel unsure or anxious. Using false pretenses. They may lie or use false pretenses to get what they want. Example, I'm a successful doctor, and I have a great job and a lot of money. When this is not true. These are just a few examples, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone is different, and not everyone who engages in manipulative behavior is a narcissist. Being quick to judge in dating apps can manifest in a variety of ways, including making snap decisions. They may judge someone based on limited information, such as their profile picture or a few lines of text. Example, I don't like the way she looks, I'm not going to bother talking to her. Being critical. They may make negative comments or judgments about someone's appearance, interests, or personality. Example, he seems boring, I don't think we have much in common. Being dismissive. They may dismiss someone as a potential match without giving them a fair chance. Example, I'm not interested in her, she seems too old for me. As you navigate the world of online dating, it's important to be aware of the red flags that could indicate you're dealing with a narcissistic individual. Here are a few tips to help you spot these individuals and avoid getting caught in their web. Watch out for grandiose language. Narcissists often inflate their own egos and use grandiose language to describe themselves and their accomplishments. 
If someone's dating profile is overflowing with boasts and boasts, it may be a sign that you're dealing with a narcissistic individual. Be wary of charm. Narcissists are often charming and charismatic, but their charm can be fleeting. Pay attention to how they treat you over time, and look for inconsistencies in their behavior. Look for a lack of empathy. Narcissists often struggle with empathy and may show little concern for your feelings or experiences. If someone seems more focused on themselves than on you, it may be a sign that they're narcissistic. Pay attention to their communication style. Narcissists may be prone to gaslighting and manipulating others to get their way. If someone seems to be constantly shifting the blame or trying to make you doubt your own perceptions, be wary. Trust your gut. At the end of the day, the most important thing is to trust your gut instincts. If something feels off about someone, it's best to take a step back and re-evaluate the situation. Remember, being cautious and aware of these red flags can help you avoid getting involved with a narcissistic individual and protect yourself from potential harm. So there you have it, folks. By keeping an eye out for grandiose language, being wary of charm, looking for a lack of empathy, paying attention to communication style, and trusting your gut instincts, you can spot a narcissistic individual on a dating app from a mile away. Don't let their smooth talk and facade fool you, arm yourself with knowledge and stay one step ahead of the game. Happy swiping! If you haven't yet, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to spread awareness about narcissistic abuse to help people learn the signs. This info literally saves lives. Thank you for watching.